just noticed that my tag keeps flipping around while filming the batch of videos today, so I don't know how much uh, that's going to keep happening, but oh well. So here it's Harry Husky, and today I'm going to be looking at this, which is a lightning laser mic made specifically for iPhones and uh, iPads. Although I don't use this type of microphone on this particular channel, but I was after one for some videos that I do film outside of furry and uh, aside from this channel uh, in general. Now the microphone doesn't have a particular brand name on it. It does say uh, lightning in the corner of the box, but I imagine that's not the company who made it. Uh, it probably says it somewhere on the box, but I can't see with how small the writing is. But the model of this microphone is the GL120, and considering how little I paid for this, it actually is a pretty good microphone. So here we have the front of the box, which shows the basics, the microphone itself, a few minor details, and if we do flip the box around, uh, I'll let you pause to read this, the specifications and the information about the microphone itself. Now I didn't do an unboxing of this microphone, and that's mainly because of the fact that there wasn't really much in terms of contents in the box. There wasn't any plastic packaging, it was just basically the microphone alone with a bit of uh, Velcro wrapped around it. Now to test this microphone, I'm going to be using a few different techniques. So I'll be using my iPhone XR as well as my iPad Air 3, and I'll be using different forms, like for example the camera itself, uh, voice memos, and the voiceover in the iMovie app. So for starters, I had the microphone hooked up to my iPhone XR, and uh, during these tests, I actually did a few... Okay, yeah. During these tests, I did a couple of ways of recording the audio. So the first way was uh, right here in the chest area, uh, right below the muzzle, and the second test, as immediately afterwards, is directly right in front of the muzzle. Um, because of the way my voice projects out of the muzzle, uh, if the microphone is right here, it's going to sound quite muffled, and because of the way just my voice fires out of it, it's better for me to have the microphone right in front of it, because with it right here, it's not going to do justice. So for starters, let's see how the microphone sounds on the iPhone camera app. Rear view camera below the muzzle, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Rear view camera in front of the muzzle, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Front facing camera underneath the muzzle. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Front facing camera in front of the muzzle. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And if we go over to how it sounds on voice memos. Voice memos below the muzzle. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Voice memos in front of the muzzle. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And finally how it sounds with voiceover on the iMovie app iMovie voiceover below the muzzle. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. iMovie voiceover in front of the muzzle. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. So moving away from the iPhone XR for now, let's have a look at how it sounds on the iPad Air 3. So the camera. Rear view camera below the muzzle. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you. Rear view camera in front of the muzzle. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you. Front facing camera below the muzzle. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you. Front facing camera in front of the muzzle. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you. Voice memos. Voice memos below the muzzle. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you. Voice memos in front of the muzzle. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you. And finally, voiceover in the iMovie app. iMovie voiceover below the muzzle. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you. iMovie voiceover in front of the muzzle. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and hurt you. So you may be able to notice from that that the audio quality tends to vary. Um, but from the use of it with the camera, it has actually proven to be a very good sounding microphone considering how little I pay. So it has give, it does give quite clear audio. Um, depends on the distance it is from my mouth. I did have it actually right up close to my muzzle, just right at the front about, roughly about here actually. Um, but I imagine uh, with it down here, uh, if humans do use it, it will sound and should sound pretty good. Now this next test, I actually went out to my local city centre 
um, because I was around the area to drop something off at the delivery office. So I went round, uh, found some beauty spots and overall some urban areas to test out how the microphone deals with uh, background noise. So with the audio from that, um, I actually thought it was pretty good sounding. Um, it wasn't distorted, it wasn't muffled, um, it was quite crystal clear. Um, so yeah, pretty serviceable. So I'll make this quick because my camera battery is actually about to die. So is this microphone a recommended buy? Yes, definitely. Um, but I would say just have a check of how it sounds through different apps that you use because the audio quality can vary. Um, but it's more the apps causing that problem rather than the actual microphone itself. And that's all I have for this video. So uh, with my camera battery literally about to die, thank you so much for watching and uh, goodbye.